Every one of these spirits wants to talk to you. They want to influence you in some way. They want to give you thoughts. They want to let you know they're around you and surrounding you. They want to actually help you. This, this person here in particular wants to help you develop spiritually to the point where you can actually communicate with all of these other ones. Right? And they're constantly trying to lead you down this road, which we <coughs> often resist, by the way, but they're constantly trying to lead us down the road where we're drawn into receiving new information that will help us connect to them. So let's say any single one of you might have, say, 10 or 12 or 15 spirits around you at any one time. How does that feel? Like, you're there in the shower, you've got 12 or 15 spirits around you. Right? Whatever you're doing, right, you've got that many spirits around you. Then, another thing happens, and that is that every time you go to sleep, you go out of body. So every time you sleep, your body is remaining in the bed, and you, your soul and you, so this part of you, the spirit body and your soul, leave your body on earth, and there's a silver cord connection that connects the two, so your body remains alive. And you go around the spirit world, meeting people. You set up events, you meet new people. You try and set up events to meet on the earth. And all those kind of things happen while you're in the spirit world state, in your sleep state. So you catch up with lots of different spirit people in that state. And many of them arrive during the day to check up on you while you're awake. See how you're doing, see whether you can connect in the awake state. You are all actually totally capable in your sleep state of speaking through a medium to in a, another person on the opposite side of the world who's awake any single time. So many of you do that, actually. Right? Many of you are actually speaking to people on the opposite side of the world trying to speak while you are asleep. Right? So that's happening as well at the same time. So can you see all of a sudden there's, there's lots of things happening around you that perhaps you weren't aware of? Now, imagine for a moment, you go along to a medium, and you sit down with the medium, and the medium's there, you sit down here, and she's starting to feel you, what she thinks is you. But what is she actually feeling? She's not just feeling you. She is feeling you, your guardian, your guide, all your sympathetic spirits around you, any family that's around you and any person that's in the sleep state who's interested in you. <laughs> right at that moment. Do you follow me? Mm -hmm. She's are, been... they, are they malevolent spirits that's hanging around her? Yes. Yes, certainly. There are malevolent spirits or spirits who have evil emotions too that are attracted to even maybe harming you that she may also feel around you. Right? So she's feeling all of these ones around you at any one time. Now, if she believes in reincarnation and past lives, how is she going to explain that to herself? Wouldn't she just say, oh, you've had a past life, in this past life you were a, you know, this past life you were a queen, and, and you did this and you did that, and you died because one of your subjects murdered you. And in fact, what she is describing right at that moment is a spirit who's sympathetic with you due to some emotions and who is actually with you permanently because of the sympathetic attraction and she's describing their life. And every time I've sat down with a medium when they're doing this and I've said, now, instead of doing this as a past life, now you start talking to the spirit as if they are a person. Not a past life of me, but they are actually a person. And when the mediums do that, their entire life changes. The medium's life changes, I mean. Because now they're realising that they're actually connecting with all these different people more often than they realise. And if you have the ability to communicate with spirits and you feel pictures and feelings and thoughts from what you believe are past lives, if you start communicating to them as if they are a spirit wanting to talk to you, you'll find you'll have very interesting conversations with these people. Right? And they are real people that exist. And this has happened so many times in many of the groups that we've done, where people have come in saying, I've got this past life, what's this all about? I believe in past lives completely because of this. And I've started talking to the spirit. And once I started talking to the spirit, the spirit got so excited. Well, you imagine, if you've been sitting with a person for 10 years, 
telling them about yourself and they just believe it's not you but themselves, how frustrated would you get about that? It's pretty frustrating for a spirit to go through that. So when somebody recognises they're different, they're a real person who's lived before, hanging about, a lot of spirits get really excited about that. Right? And in fact, there's a lot of spirits here today who are really excited about you knowing that. Because they feel that they'll be able to communicate to you better because of that. Yeah. So what's actually happening is this spirit, whoever this spirit is hanging about you, which can be any one of these people or a person in the sleep study, this spirit communicates, is attempting to communicate with you. And the way they do it is through thoughts, pictures, words that pop into your mind, just drop into your mind. That's how they communicate with you. Now, if the person is this one, your guide, they are always trying to help you progress spiritually. So they are going to be focusing on triggering your emotions. So they will give you a picture from their own life that's very similar to your life that causes you to actually feel an emotion that you're avoiding in your own life. That's, their, that's what they will do. These other, fan, these other spirits will often not do that. They'll drop thoughts or pictures about their own life without consideration as to whether you've got the same emotion or not. But this person will often do it in a very controlled way in order to assist you to progress. Now this is happening every single moment of your awakening life. And most people on earth have no idea how much they're being affected. 